What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Paper Drew back with another video. As you guys can see, it is that time again. Reno, more wood, the advisory. First and foremost, if you're ready, willing, and able, go ahead and drop a like down below. Subscribe, not because I ask YouTube, but because you enjoy the content. I know you, a lot of you guys have been hitting me up recently regarding these reviews, asking me how the fit is, what I think of the quality, all that good stuff. So, you know, turn, I appreciate you guys taking the time out. To, re to watch the videos and ask those questions. I try to get back to each and every one of you and uh, hopefully I've answered your questions regarding fit, regarding quality, anything that you guys may have questions with. Hopefully I've answered those. Moving on to this particular release. Uh, just came in today, ordered this maybe ooh, middle of the month and it is here before the end of the month. So again, big shout out to Marina Morewood for making DHL a shipping option for those of us who are across the water. So here we go. As most of you guys will know from the description and the title of this video, this is the Scarface T. As you guys can see, you guys are seeing it as I'm seeing it. Of course, I did see from the website, but as we all know, these things always come in and they look a little different than what they would look like on the internet. So as far as color is concerned, already liking what I'm seeing. As far as the saturation, all that good stuff. It is an XL, so it is my size, personal size. You can see Tony Montana right there, the man. Let's break this open because this is where we're going to see the graphic, what kind of screen printing it has. And we can see from the bottom there. We see that's Tony Montana. We have his boy, his homeboy, Manolo. This is him when he had the arm in a sling. He's out here killing people, cops, actually dirty cops. There's another picture of him. It says Scarface. All the side of it vertically. Of course, we got that tag, the infamous Marina Morwood tag, the XL. And the back, the back, this back just hits different. Look at this. In this country, you got to make the money first. Then when you get the money, you get the power. Then when you get the power, then you get the women. Wide word, wise words from the man, Tony Montana. There's Tony Montana. And I forget his name. What the hell is his name? I forget his name, but it, it might come to me. But uh, money, power, respect. And then you got Montana on the back. One of the best scenes in any movie. Him just taking on pretty much the whole the whole fucking crew. Um, Sosa? Was his name Sosa? Damn, I want to say it was. Alright, so. And then you got the, the world is yours. That statue that he had in his house. So what do I think of this? Um, th this shit is dope. Um, Scarface is one of my favorite movies. If you've never seen it definitely is a must watch it's kind of long but um it's definitely one of the classics i think when it first came out it wasn't even like that well reviewed or well received but it's one of those movies that people you know it's a classic down the road and uh probably one of al pacino's best performances not accent wise but just overall in the movie it was it was a dope movie bloody gory uh, definitely a gangster flick. This and uh, King of New York, probably two of my favorite uh, gangster style movies. So definitely check that out as well. If you have not, Kings of New York, Christopher Walken, uh, Lawrence Fishburne's in it. Very dope, very dope film. So now that this has arrived, let me know what you guys think down below. I think this is a fire ass tea. Um, a lot of the Scarface stuff is not like you won't see it in rap tea form like this or rap t style form like this a lot of the stuff you see is just pretty much him and um in like a scene of a movie so you probably see tees of him in like this and then it's like just a big the big print of him on the actual t on the actual t but um in this kind of style i don't think anyone's had done has done this before so this is a nice spin on it uh pretty dope he said he's not gonna be doing rappers anymore so that's something that he said so I think we've seen that since, man, what was the last one that he did? It was actually, I think the last one that he did, actually did that was a rapper was um, Louis Vert. So 
ever since then, and he got hit with a cease and desist. He hasn't actually done any musicians. He's done ever since then. I think he's he did the Michael Jordan Bulls T. He's done Leonardo DiCaprio. He's done Elon Musk, Mike Tyson, and then this is his latest one. So we'll see what he does for the next one. Supposedly he has dropped four coming for Halloween. So that's, I think that's going to be the Jason. I would like to see Freddy vs. Jason, but I think it's just going to be Jason. Don't know if I'm going to cop that one. I'm not a real big Jason fan. So maybe I'll probably skip out on that one, to be honest with you. Uh, again, like I said, not a big Jason fan. If it would have been Freddy vs. Jason, definitely because I am a fan of Freddy Krueger, but not so much Jason. So um, I might not get that one. I might skip out on that one. So, you know, we might skip that release and whatever he's coming up with next month. I might grab one of those. But we'll see what uh, what it's going to be looking for uh, the future. But I think this tee, very nice. Pretty much the same. Uh, looks like it's going to be the same fit as all the others. So it's going to fit me perfect. Uh, the wash looks like this is the same. No printing errors, no printing mistakes. So that's always good. And uh, yeah, definitely going to get a lot of wear out of this tee. Uh, worn all his other tees. Have no issues whatsoever as far as wear is concerned. Some people have... Um, issues with the way that the neck is they say it bacons out but i think those are people that don't hand wash their tees like i hand wash my personal tees like stuff that i wear around the house i don't really care about yeah i'll throw it in the wash and throw it in the dryer but stuff like this that i want to last a little bit longer i will hand wash it and i will uh, dry it on low and then the rest of it i'll air dry so you know taking care of it like that and not throwing a t-shirt like this into the washing machine will definitely uh, not destroy the neck of it even regular t-shirts, if you throw them in the washing machine and throw them in the, you know, the high heat dryer, you're going to fuck the neck up. Uh, or something's going to get messed up. The, the graphics is going to get messed up. So, yeah, that's pretty much um, just basic wear on a t-shirt. But uh, you can, you know, elongate the, the time that you are able to enjoy a t-shirt by taking care of it, by hand washing it and things like that. So... Uh, my next video, because I'm, if I'm, I skip on the Jason, depending on what it looks like, I might, I might not, depending on what the graphic looks like. Uh, There's going to be the Rap T collection, so I'm going to put up his uh, Merino Morewood pieces, and I'm going to compare them to the actual vintage Rap Tees that I own. I know a lot of you have been asking me about it. Finally, this was the tee that I was waiting for to come in, and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump into that video for the next video. So go ahead and let me know down below what you guys if you know what in comparison you guys want to see in particular if there's anything in specific or you know if i just uh, go down the list like i was planning to then i'll go ahead and do that as well uh don't want to hold you guys too much but i do appreciate each and every one of you taking the time out to go ahead and take these videos and share them with everybody that you can and for going ahead and uh sharing your feedback with me i appreciate that as well um as always been your boy paper drew let me know down below what you guys think of this particular release uh like comment subscribe not because i asked you but because you enjoyed the content and as always man y'all stay blessed